Hey everyone, I'm Will, and today I'm going to show you how to identify winter cress in the spring. But before that, remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below, and don't forget to press that notification bell down below. Right here, we have a winter cress. Winter cress is a type of wild mustard. All plants that are in the mustard family have ability for lowering cholesterol. So this can help with lowering cholesterol. But this is not just like a mustard where you can have like the seeds. You can use the seeds to make a like stone ground mustard or just like a very spicy mustard. Or you can actually uh, use the greens and make like a green mustard. But this is like more of like a salad green, uh, like a flavoring that you can use just like arugula. Arugula is also a type of mustard. So this has a similar kind of spice and flavor as arugula. You can also use the root almost like horseradish, but it's not going to be as strong as horseradish. And horseradish is also another species of mustard. Now, wintercress love like drainage area and disturbed areas. You will mostly see wintercress in gardens or on farms where there's stuff being tilled up. Where you could actually find some if you're not searching in a garden is more like on the, like maybe a side of a driveway, like right here is side of the driveway and a little bit like more right up right here and coming over like here is there's a small one right there. Winnicrest loves disturbed areas. Now the size of the rosette, that's what we're looking for. The size of the rosette is going to be about maybe a few inches in width because the leaves are now lying on the ground instead of bundled upwards towards the sun because right now it's still cold out. It's going to be about as small as about five to maybe even like 13 inches in width of the rosette. Now the leaves are going to be about an inch to an inch and a half in width and about twice that in length. And then the stem, the stem here is going to be about a little longer than the length of the leaf. It's going to be about three inches in length and about a eighth of inch in width. Now the coloration of the leaf is going to be about a dark green to almost a maroonish hue slightly to the leaves. In the early spring, you can use the, some of the leaves if they're in good shape for cooking, but mostly what's best used is the root the root you can use in stir fries or like I said, it's similar as of like horseradish. You can use it as a mild horseradish flavoring to your dishes. When you harvest the root, the root is going to be a similar coloration as of horseradish of a white coloration, but it's not going to be huge of usually what you would see. If you see a really big rosette on top, the root, you don't know exactly if it's going to be really long and skinny or wide and short. It could be very small root or a big root. You don't know until you dig it up. And that's how you identify wintercress in the spring. If you want to see more, go down in the description below, click the link to my channel, or press the round subscribe button to help me out to get to 10,000 subscribers. And until next time, remember to get outside, get fresh air, and have fun. See ya.